Oh man, my cat was on my bed last night, and I turned around with my tablet in the hand, and I whacked him in the face with the tablet so hard. Oops. I didn't see him. I did not see him. I didn't even know he was there. He got up and <laughs> cried and ran away as fast oh, as... Oh, shit. I forgot. Sorry, dude. I didn't mean to cut you off. I thought you were... Um... No, mine's not important at all. No, I know. We're not important. <laughs> we're not important. <laughs> Hey everybody, Beyond Your TV here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Lunawood. Uh, today I am joined by a smaller group of people, but still a great group of people. I'm joined by Mr. HPK, who's actually here today. Yes, I'm not walking around Manhattan today. Yes, <laughs> so he's actually here. And then uh, we have the uh, we have Mr. Fisherman as well. How's it going, everybody? What's up, bud? Hey, and that's all we have today. That's it. So uh, thanks for watching the episode. Oh, like that's it for people. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, Estan is on a date night with his lovely wife there. He said to blame her for the reason that he's not here. So you see where his priorities are. So everyone yell at Estan's wife, I guess, for him. Collectively, all at the same time right now. Right. One, two, three. Go. Oh. Ah! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Mate is, well, it's like what? I don't know. It's like midnight or 1 a.m. his time or something like that. So he's either sleeping, drinking, or... Watching yeah. football, which is not American football. Soccer. Oh, yeah. Football. Football. Yeah, soccer. So that's what he's doing there. So, But anyways, that being said, uh, we're going to go ahead and look at a heck ton of work that Mr. Fisherman has done. And I, I seriously mean it. Like, I haven't even looked at everything that he's done yet, but, like, the little bits I have seen are enough for, like, its own episode. But, yeah, you've done a lot. So, um, let's, I guess, without further ado, go ahead and look at the boardwalk uh, area here, because you've kind of done some additions and kind of wrapped it up, would you say? Those I of you who've been so. following the series probably already noticed some changes. <laughs> it has it has a, a sign now. Yeah, we know where we're at. <laughs> We're not just aimlessly <laughs> wandering into this random area going, what? what? Right. Ooh, bright buildings. Where are we? <laughs> awesome. And then something I'm going to point out right away before the main things is to the left. Hello, Gulpy. <laughs> <laughs> if those of you that watched uh, the last episode where we were basically deciding that we're going to whore the park out in different areas, um, like older areas of the park, uh, yeah, Fisherman has gone ahead and kind of done that where it looks like he's putting Gulpy everywhere. Yeah. Who sponsors this park? Uh, Gulpy. Gulpy. Take a guess. Gulpy. Oh. There in it case is you for, In case you forgot, Gulpy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's everywhere. So yeah, that's perfect. Again, if, if you not really know what we're talking about, just if you look at real parks, you know, Six Flags, uh, Cedar Fair, whatever, um, a lot of times those big corporate parks, they'll take older parts of their park or rides um, and they'll just sponsor them out to big corporation so they don't have to pay for maintenance costs or anything like that so that's kind of the idea that we're doing here as well i mean i got season passes to great adventure recently and i've been going there a lot i think i went like three times in the past couple weeks and el toro let me guys tell you damn it can we cut that we can now <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i uh i got a couple of season passes to great adventure and uh let me tell you, they got, you know, what is it, the top spin that they got is the Twix top spin. Twix is all over that thing. And El Toro, great ride, but they replaced one of the trains and they made them uh, the Kia Soul cars. Now. <laughs> so That's Kia awesome. now is on uh, the trains for El Toro. That's crazy. Fun fact. That is crazy. But I've seen it at like Six Flags too, like back in the day, I think it was um, on one of their... Um, I can't remember, but yeah, they would uh, sell it out like an entire wrap of like Starburst would be around yeah. like their old Arrow uh, Looper and stuff like that. So no shame for some money. Yeah. <laughs> Even this guy's laughing. <laughs> he's just like, yeah, you sell out. <laughs> oh, wait, he's laughing at the entertainer. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I thought he was, something I thought he was laughing at our joke. <laughs> right. We're not funny. Oh. Um, but as we were sitting there talking about Parks selling themselves out, I noticed that awesome view behind the gulpy of the uh, Enterprise over this little seating area. Oh, yeah. See? So while you're eating, you can look at the stuff that'll make you throw up your food when you're done eating. <laughs> Perfect. I love that little the the bushes or the small trees you have as the little uh, 
uh, in between there. It's a perfect little area. Yeah. It's see... nicely spaced just, just to get enough. just enough of a view, but not too much. Yeah. Yeah, so... I want to make you work to look at the ride. Yeah. So there was... There were just a couple of spaces left between the boardwalk and uh, this area over here, back over here, that kind of led around to the entrance. Yeah. So I I guess we kind of juggled some of these rides around. So I don't remember exactly where this Tilt-A-Whirl was before. Was that Tilt-A-Whirl has been in a lot of places. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> to be honest. I think, it, I think we finally decided it should go somewhere over here. So we put it somewhere over here and I gave it um, just kind of a generic sign. Perfect. And yep. then I we had one little space left in between. So I put this building. Um, it's got a little souvenir shop and some food and drink and outlets. Those there. t-shirts, real quick. Those uh, that's all custom, right? That's not Team TK. Correct. This is just art shapes. That's something I did. That's, that's awesome. something I did in Kaleidoscope Beers before we had toolkit stuff. Um, I actually had gone in and made all the t-shirts and stuff for my shops. And then the toolkit stuff came out. I'm like, oh. Right, of course. <laughs> but I couldn't really use it anyway because it broke the game at the time. But it's better now. So I've gone back and replaced some of it with, with sure. toolkits. And it's, it's a perfect use of space, too, because we've all talked about what we were going to do with this empty, empty space here. Yeah. And uh, I think I've had a few ideas and <clears throat> Beyond had a few ideas and... I think you combined it, all the ideas that we had put forth, and and you made this spot your own, man, and you knocked it out of the park. Heck yeah! A lot better. My idea was to put put a bathroom here, so that's. <laughs> I, I would say in gift shop and backstage, but I don't know if what I would have done would have came out as good as this. Right. Because I was going right. to do a little bit more basic, and not to say like this is totally fits in with the area the boardwalk and it fits in with Luna Wood. But I don't know, maybe it's just cause I didn't build it and it's just like I'm in awe looking at it, you know? <laughs> right. You always think like, like everybody is super critical of what they build themselves and then you look at somebody else's work, you're like, dude, that's awesome. Well thank you. Cool. Okay. So let's go down um I gave this ride a name because I don't think it officially had a name yet. If it, it had like an implied name, yeah. basically. Yeah. So um, I think the ride was named Roundup, but it didn't have a sign, maybe. So I just plopped a sign up there. Perfect. Um, and then, done and done. Check mark. Done and done. Check. And down here, across from the Ghost Hunters ride, I oh perfect added some nice. lock lockers. Um, yes, with some. Sculpey ads down at the on the wall at the, at the end there. <laughs> that yeah, neon dude. green is gonna like pierce my brain by the end of the <laughs> Seriously. Here. But that was another thing that um, when Fish asked you, like he's like, "What do you want? What do you want me to do?" Kind of thing. We gave him two very big things. It was like uh, the one thing that you all are gonna see in just a few minutes when we get over there, and then two was putting more lockers around the park because um, after going to Cedar Point myself and uh, HPK can kind of. Um, chime in on this too going to great adventure a lot there are lockers at like every major ride basically um in the park so we were really lacking on that i think we had like one locker set or maybe two and that was it for the entire park so we were very lacking in lockers so um yeah i think you started to go around and kind of put lockers in really big major coaster and just areas in general yeah i don't know where this all of a sudden changed because they used to have the cubbies on the ride platforms where you could store your loose stuff your hats I hope they have a better solution in the future. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. But, but anyways, that's our solution at Luna. What is to give us some money, punk? Yeah. <laughs> for this locker. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, did you add in this uh, extra pip shot and all that fun stuff? I or did, that... and the purpose of that one is to kind of cover up this gate here because I extended the backstage that HBK had done. I basically brought it all the way back around the little the curved building Naturally. so it goes all the way around 
Nice. Naturally. So that out. We're walking through fences and walls. We're walking through fences and walls. So all the way back around to here. <laughs> so. Um, Perfect. And then down here, we passed it up earlier. I have another. My favorite spot. Another yeah, little. Dude, you, this backstage area was, is awesome. Thank you. So this one is. Um, we have. The gulpy sign storage, basically. So this is just, just in case we <laughs> run out of more gulpy. <laughs> I found these amazing golf carts. These are by yes. Os Osmium. Um, found those on the workshop, so I've got those in a couple places. We will be sure and put the link to those in the description of the video because they are amazing. I use those in quite. Yeah, they are pretty good. And yeah, I saw those the other day, and yeah, they're perfect. Yeah, they really, and they're the right scale, so that's what I liked about them. Yep. I like that you put the little people in there or nine foot tall yeah. employees or whatever <laughs> fit, fit really well. <laughs> and they're just sitting there like, hey, yeah. Bert, what do we do next? I don't know. Let's <laughs> drive around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's pretend like we're working like last time. Right. <laughs> and then, um, so this connects. Um, so at the, f at the front entrance, we had um, this trellis. And the flower bed used to go all the way across of that long driveway that came from the parking lot. That's right. And so I just kind of broke that up a little bit and put a new gate. So the, nah, and the... it totally feels natural, too. <coughs> yeah, because... that makes way more sense. <laughs> yeah, especially that there's a backstage area that's, you know, uh, storage, whatever whatever they're storing. They could be uh, prizes for the boardwalk or food for all the vendors that are locally yeah. to this backstage. And it just... it. You know, the gate is naturally fits to the outside of the park. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> yep. It looks like a perfect. Uh, yeah. We, we before we had kind of toyed around with wanting to do that idea, but the thing we had there before, or the ideas that we had before, were tying in the Enterprise exit line. I don't know. It was really convoluted. So I'm glad that you know Fish came back through here and was just like, let's simplify this. <laughs> yeah. This is totally. What we're gonna do. <laughs> totally. We just were thinking way too much about this area. So. Um, yeah, dude, yeah, you, you completed it, it looks done, and uh, I think we're going to just say, it's done. Yeah, it's all done. The, uh, the the boardwalk is completely done, there's no reason to go back and, and do anything here, but everything is filled in, and it's it's great. Cool. I'm glad you guys like it. Hell yeah. So, cool, let's do a classic Lunawood uh, transition. Here. Okay, so let's head over, <laughs> we will go look at the stuff I did around Pioneer and Shredder. How about that? Yep. Okay, cool. That's good. Whoops. Transition. Oh, that's old school Luna Wood for you guys. That, <laughs> that'll that never be old. Ever. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it looks like we're over here in the Shredder Pioneer area. So, what'd you do? I did some custom signs and I added some new lockers. Yeah. So, yeah, we were perfect. just talking about lockers. We were. Yeah. So Pioneer um, needed a sign. And so I just kind of made this sort of rustic sign to kind of, I thought of the word Pioneer, thought of wood. So I thought, hey, wooden Pioneer sign. Totally. <laughs> but you know what I love about it is that it almost looks in a way like a new design sign that, because if you look at the rest of the station, um, it has, you know, this really kind of old school kind of feel to it. And then the sign is like rustic and stuff. It almost feels like, you know, a new design person came in and was like, Ooh, I have an idea for a new pioneer sign, even though it, you know, doesn't, it's not going to fully match, but it's still going to look great. <laughs> thing. Yeah. Cool. You know what it matches? It matches the benches. It match. There you go. Yeah. It matches the benches. <laughs> yes. Cool. So, and then I love it just to show you at night real quick. Um, so I have, nice little subtle lighting. Yeah, I put the, um, I kind of uh, pulled the wood out a little bit from the, the wall to kind of give it a nice shadow. So, yeah, it's got a I nice 3D yeah. perspective to it, which is yeah, cool. Yeah, it has good depth on the sign, yeah. so you can actually tell what it says, and it's not just like painted on the side of the, the board or anything, so that's great. So check that off, since we've been talking about that for like three or four months now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then around here, so then I put just a um, in-game sign for the entrance, and I added a small area for lockers. Didn't have a lot of room here because um, we're right by the, the little creek, 
Right. And so I put just a, a little fenced in area with lock, more lockers here. To be honest, man, it. that's probably about the size that the Great Adventure lockers are. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you need much more than yeah. that. And it's great too because it kind of plays on what I was, what I'm thinking with the uh, the Pioneer custom sign that you did. That it looks like the lockers were, you know, added in later on. They were kind of when they had this new policy going. They were like, oh shoot, Pioneer doesn't have any lockers. <laughs> we're gonna put them. <laughs> so they just kind of threw that in there, and maybe they at the same time they were like, oh, let's do a new uh, logo redesign too for Pioneer while we're at it, kind of thing. So. Yeah, I like how those all tie in. Also, something else that I see new is ride height uh, oh, markers. Oh, good, good, good catch. Oh yeah. So these are very. This is just the um, the sign pole from the game, and I have um, a green one, and I have like two red ones, so that it looks a little bit wider than the green. Um, Clever. And then I made a little billboard. That's the spooky picture frame. Um, the uh, so it's like the um, like restrictions yeah the restrictions like, like you know if you've got pregnant mothers no yes, cell phones no heart necklaces. problems back problems right right put um, your stuff yeah, in the locker like touches <laughs> no drunk people uh, you know. <laughs> oh wait <laughs> no <laughs> so I oh you can sneak on if you're drunk <laughs> well yeah <laughs> Sorry. Man, I love the uh, when you're looking at it now. I love the view of the Pioneer um, entrance sign above it, and then the uh, lift hill as yeah. you're walking in. <clears throat> you get some great views of it going in now. Cool. Um, and then I was gonna say this locker building. It's actually the same locker building from the boardwalk. I just cut part of it off and recolored it. So, and I hey, that works. I yeah. I saved a copy of it out in the our little secret boneyard that no one knows about because we never show it um so if we <laughs> if we want to use it again we'll we'll have it we can use it in other places in the park that was a good idea to save it because yeah. we're not always going to need those huge yeah. lockers so good idea um so that is that where should cool. we go next so you said next was uh shredder, shredder. right let's shredder, shredder. Uh, 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 to the right. Uh, 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 <laughs> there it is. Uh, there you there go. You go. <laughs> we swear he's built in this park before. <laughs> I see it. I'm getting warmer. I'm it's getting that warmer. big red coaster. <laughs> Look at all these gulpy signs everywhere. Seriously, who's this park selling out crazy. to? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's I love the like view the when back, you walk but... down this path and you get that tower right there. I was gonna say like <laughs> I built this area, but like I, you know, how you built it, build an area, then you don't go back to it for like several months or something. Like I just love how this area turned out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Boom. Ooh, I love it. So the graffiti looking. If you guys thing, don't right, know, fun. if you guys don't know who Jimmy Mac is, um, Jimmy Mac made. Uh, there was a project that they made that used some graffiti. And they decided to make that graffiti for whatever project they were making. They turned it into a font and made made it into a blueprint. Well, That's thank so you. So I know, yeah, awesome. So and it's I thought it was a TMTK set at first. No, oh, and so it's and it's really really well made. So um, I used that to make the shredder sign. Um, that font it. is it fits awesome, in man. So well, yeah. I actually thought that was TMTK too, and I was like, wow, because. For those of you who don't know, I've been pretty busy and I haven't really touched the game in a couple of months. And I, I was like, where, where, what's what's that wall? Because the wall has graffiti on it too. Yeah. Well, the Is that Ghostbusters yeah. stuff? That Ghostbusters. Yeah, the graffiti yeah. on the wall. I, I've only just bought the Ghostbusters stuff. Uh, whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. But no, Ghostbusters, dude, is probably in my top three favorite packs in the entire game. Yeah, I, I, I haven't really even dove into it yet. I only just bought it when I got the park back uh, this week because I had to to play the park and save it. But, and you know, the funny thing is, HP, the last time that you had talked about the Ghostbusters pack is when you were we were doing the podcast with Mr. S. Dan there. Oh, yeah. Was, How long ago like, was we that? Utter, we utterly were just shitting all over it, saying it was going to be another uh, Monsters pack or Knight Rider pack yeah, or whatever. How, that was probably like two months we? ago or something. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> so I'm glad I was. Nighttime. I accidentally hit escape, and I'm like, what? Don't push escape. Well, I was hitting it to get out, so the sign looks pretty cool at night, too. Don't hit escape. Don't hit escape. Don't do that. <laughs> You'll get out of Tentacam. Ooh. I love it. 
pops. Yeah. So I, I love how the uh, the sign is two-toned. So the top half of it and the bottom half of it are they're similar yeah, colors, but like they're not. Different shades. And then at night, it really shows off. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's kind of a chrome effect almost. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. So now something else is catching my eye in the background. Mm -hmm. um, did you light up the coaster? I did light up the coaster. You did light up the coaster. <laughs> it looks really nice. <laughs> it's, I think HPK pointed this out. It's blinding when you write it, so we have some work to do. But it looks nice from the, oh, it yeah. looks nice from the paths. <laughs> yeah, and the idea is there. Yeah. yeah, so I think you just used the floodlights, I right? did. There, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, but the idea is there, it. and it looks so good. In fact, right and, there is yeah, where it blinds you, <laughs> where the coaster right there, train yep, just coming over. down the dive loop. But yeah. that's hey. sick. That is awesome, right there. Right there, yeah. That's a Kodak moment, right there. Yeah. So all you kids watching, Kodak used to be a company that made cameras, and they used to have photo spots in the parks, and they would have a sign. They did. They'd have a sign <laughs> that tell you where to take your pictures because you were an idiot. <laughs> and they were worth so much money that yeah they did. Do you remember that? I forgot about that. We should. And they were at once. We should do that. Once here. Had, <laughs> we should do that. Take a picture here. Oh, we kind of do with our penguins. <laughs> we have the little yes, wood penguin. Yes, we did the wood penguin. <laughs> it's the take a picture here, dumbass. Oh, boy. <laughs> but anyways, so that's our Kodak history for you. Okay, so that. Oh, it looks like pioneers lit up too. It is. I didn't even notice that. Pioneer. Ooh, stuff. I love the supports. And, oh, that's such a cool view. There's a, there's a gulpy. A view. I replaced the chief beef with gulpy. <laughs> 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 we can change it back if you're, if you're hard with no, it. No, no. If, if, no. if, if gulpy, gulpy is, is now the official sponsor. Gulpy is the official sponsor. They're going to be everywhere. Okay. Yep, absolutely. So, no, I didn't see the um, I didn't see Pioneer lit up like that before, though, so that's awesome. Yeah. Um, okay. Cool. Um... Was there anything else over here? Or do, do we want to go to the, um, uh, the main attraction? I think that's all we did from over here. All right, cool. So you it's about to time we place Benny Hill like, our uh, way over. All right. Do you want to cut through the coaster? Cut, cut through I, the coaster. Shh, I won't tell anyone. All right, take a ride. <laughs> this is illegal. This is illegal. Don't get... You can't do that. Don't get me. This is how you get your head kicked <laughs> I off. I was going to say... <laughs> don't pick up your baseball cap. Just let it die. <laughs> right. It's, this it's this is the worst murder. spot. This is where you would really get your head chopped off. Right here. Uh, just just don't duck. <laughs> <laughs> my, my students make fun Whoa. of me because they say utter instead of other. Utter. Yeah. It's okay. I make fun of my, my stepdad because he says wash instead of wash. <laughs> oh, that's good. You know, let me yeah. get a car wash. <laughs> exactly. A car wash. Awesome. So yeah, we're at where we were last week for the new stuff. So I think we kind of mentioned what you're going to do, but go ahead and lead us to the, uh, the new area. So let's go down here. Let's see what's new. Brick house got filled in. There's some weeds growing in the pavement around here. If you guys noticed yeah, that. Yeah, they got to really take care of that. <laughs> Donnie! I pay that guy $2,000 a week. Wait a second. $2,000 a new week? Things. <laughs> <laughs> new Whoa! <things. laughs> hey, new things indeed. New thing. Toy land. Toy I love land. it. It's so seventies generic kitty area. It's so wholesome <laughs> and creepy. I was gonna say it's creepy at the same time. <laughs> it is creepy. <laughs> oh, it gets worse. <laughs> so I know that um, before we get into it and see all of the nightmare fuel that's inside this area. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was funny. <laughs> We, uh, you originally sent us a picture, I think, of this area or something else, and we actually told you to tone it down yeah. color-wise. Yeah, because it looked like it was brand new, like it had just been freshly painted. And you're like, this looks brand new. I'm like, it does look brand new. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, we wanted to give it the vibe of just having this, again, like, you know, mid-70s, early 80s, like, kitty aesthetic area where it just hasn't been updated at all. And, yeah, so everything will be a little bit faded and, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead. Just a little bit show faded. It. Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's show it off, because yeah. <laughs> I already know what we're going to see. <laughs> All right. So we have Creepy Monkey playing the drums. Hello, Creepy Monkey. Oh, man. I, w <laughs> I wish that they had given us the Creepy Monkey with the symbols that we all 
were terrified of as kids. Right. But this <laughs> right. this will suffice. That's good enough. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe we'll get the symbols one day. Maybe one day. But And I love what you did here to the left. You like um you extend the creek there a little I bit? I did. So this is the creek that runs kind of underneath um, Pioneer. Or next to it. It actually connects all the way over to the wharf area that Mate's working on. There you go. Yeah. And so I just kind of extended this little dog leg off the side of it and ran it underneath a bridge. Two bridges, actually, that uh, kind of goes back around under the entrance to the kitty land. Oh, impressive. Awesome. Because anybody who works with the terrain and the pathing in this game knows that's a pain in the butt. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it was. <laughs> And getting the getting the path to go across without being a, a poo poo was difficult. <laughs> I bet it was. You heard it here first from Fish. The path was being a poo poo. <laughs> I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. I can't. I can't uh, yeah. really say the words that are in my head right now. <clears throat> <laughs> That's understandable. <laughs> um, so and then um, this drive uh, driving uh, right here, just so people know, that's not an in-game ride. So if you're looking, you're playing plank, and you're like, "Where is this, where is ride? this ride?" It should it's, be. It's, <laughs> it should be absolutely. But this um, is but yeah, actually all this... these rides that we're going to be looking at should be in-game rides. Exactly. We should have Frontier. Frontier. I'm looking at you. <laughs> I got my Give eyebrow raised. I'm saying, "Where's my kitty rides? Where's my kitty rides?" <laughs> Um, did you do this, or I know that um, you had Bullethead and someone this else? This is that, um... JP Almighty, who's a Shy Guys World. Ooh, uh, JP person. Almighty. Oh yeah, uh, Andy Park. Great. So this is his kitty kitty cars, and he had the little custom drive-in sign that he put around it. So good, so good. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. And I threw in, I did throw in a couple of real rides just so that peeps would actually come back here. So the the balloon. Sure. Right from the game is back here, and the little, um, uh, the little Ferris wheel, the little kitty Ferris wheel. Okay. These are my flying swings from Kaleidoscope Piers. Love it. Yes. And I hear some creepy laughing. What is that? What could it be? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> ah. And there he is. <laughs> now. Insert psycho music here. <laughs> For all of you that like clowns, is there anyone? Just get a look at this. Guy. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Are there any people around here that like clowns? <laughs> I used I've to. I've been afraid of clowns here. since I was like two. So, <laughs> thanks, it. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Pennywise. Pennywise. Uh, Hi, Georgie. What a nice boat. That's the worst use. That's the worst and best usage of art shapes I've ever seen. <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> Hands down. Hands down. So yeah, that's so great, but also just so creepy. So that, that just dates the whole area so well. Yeah. But uh, so doesn't he laugh like every sixty seconds? He does. He has <laughs> a really scary laugh. That there's like a mechanical <laughs> breakdown sort of sound, and then the laughter. So <laughs> you're not quite you're not quite sure if it's coming to life or dying every sixty seconds, <laughs> or maybe both. Maybe both. Yeah, right. Not quite sure. Zombie, zombie clone. So it's a Jack, Jack well. in the Box, Jack Snacks. <laughs> um, there's a little sequencer back here, so if the if the laughter really terrifies you, you can turn it off. <laughs> no, it has to stay. <laughs> no, it That's a, that has to stay. <laughs> That's a great addition. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so believe it or not, there's more. There's more. <laughs> so this was the the kitty Ferris wheel. I themed it as a kids bubble bath so i actually put toys in there with it so there's a toy boat and i, and the, oh, I made a rubber and duck the, the ducky yeah cool <coughs> good stuff and Maybe bubbles and bubbles i put bubbles in there too My totally nice and i just love that you know if you look up you can you're just being loomed over by the ginormous lift hill of pine right. the whole time and a few of its elements and stuff like the uh and the clickety clack right? of the lift yep Right, it would just be so overpowering to this little kid. Scaring the little kid. Just like, yeah, just clack, clack, clack with like joyous music and the clown laughing in the background. <laughs> It'd be because, just, please don't look at the clown again. Because this, this would not be scaring them, but it would be the sound of the coaster that would be scaring them. 
<laughs> right, the loud arrow coaster. <laughs> That's How many four times years can old. we look at the clown in the eyes without dying? What clown? That's what... <laughs> <laughs> so, and then uh, I'm moving. Ahead. I, I moved ahead. I saw these little flyers. I love these. This these little uh, these planes are by Bullethead, and that they were a pain. Hey, they were a pain. Bullethead to... is uh, regular on our uh, five guy. Uh, Five guys are our, our, uh, shy guys first. Yeah. HB is hungry. I'm hungry. He wants a burger. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Bullet Hand and GP, I think I've seen on our uh, thread. Our Actually, yes, they both there. are. Yeah. So shout out to Bullet Big Hit. shout out to both those yeah. guys. Yeah, no, great creators. But I actually went in and recolored it, so I made it look uh, even more dated than it was. So it's perfect. Yeah, dude. I love it. Um, Once again, Frontier, we need these rides in game. I Please. know we do. <laughs> I didn't even notice before, but the greats um, are also great touch. Thank Not you. Not to be punished, but <laughs> great touch. Thank you. <laughs> Pun Thank intended. You and I was—I think I showed you guys this last time. Yeah, go back to it. More nightmare fuel in the kids' area. I was not not the clown. No, something I was playing no. around with it. Ah! This is only in my version of the file, but I can add it to the the final version if you want but i did you insert that in after the bro down by chance or did you just think of it i i put this in before we recorded last time but it's not in the it's not in the final version of the park that got uploaded so but okay. i did say i just know there's a i can put it in the, the next version when i get it i can put it back in there, so. <laughs> please, do. Will, please do please yeah, do but there's <laughs> I just that this is in the, the kitty area <laughs> Yeah, this is the kitty area. We have a terrible, terrifying <laughs> clown, and then then these red eyes just staring at the kids as they're running around having fun. Do you want to play yes, a game? My pre yeah, right? <laughs> my precious. <laughs> God. Oh, man. And then... Um, <laughs> nightmare fuel, he called it. Nightmare fuel. Oh. Night. Okay. And so... Did and you, then a coaster. There is a you coaster talk about here. the Ahoy? Oh, that's... That's from Kaleidoscope Piers. That's the little kitty pirate boat swing that I made. Oops. So that's that was, awesome, man. That I think that over. might be my favorite one out of all these. Cool. Thank you. Um, and then the coaster is a um, wacky worm. It is uh, KPJ's Big Apple. And we'll post, we can post links to all these blueprints uh, in the description of the video. Yes, yes, please check uh, the description, everyone. There'll be a lot of links and stuff. And like this that. file contains all of the. Um, let me just come up here and show it off. It's got all the lamps and the apple and the little mushroom right up booth and everything. I love that. All it's included. so much character. Yeah, Not only really that, cute. it's also very good on the piece count. It looks like you'd be crazy, but it's only about a thousand pieces or so. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's not that's that's nothing for what it looks like. Yeah, and it's it's not too like you know some people might be like oh well you're a generic park why is it so themed and really if you look at it it's it's it sure it's themed but it's cheap if you look at it, it's it very much so looks very cheap and plastic it's, and and so. it's exactly the kind of cheap kids theme that they would do in the seventies or eighties when this would have been put in totally a hundred percent yeah so yeah that I love that. And then, yeah, this, I, I missed this the last time we were uh, looking is... through. We're going to keep saying, by the way, uh, last time, because we tried to do this earlier in the week. <laughs> and uh, probably with, like, less than five minutes left to go in the recording. Whoa! That was my <laughs> bird! That was my bird. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to edit the bird out. <laughs> um, but, yeah, with, but with, like, five minutes to go, HP's computer crashed. So <laughs> we thought we lost the recording, but we didn't. Anyways, long story short, we f***. So, <laughs> beep, <laughs> beep. We beeped up. <laughs> it's all right. We're so, here again, and we're ready to. We're go. here again. We're so, here. But anyways, the frog hopper. Frog hopper. This, I missed this last time. I missed this last time, and it's so good. I love this. This is a. This was a collaboration. Um, so I made one for uh, Kaleidoscope Piers that was themed as a lighthouse, and then Bullethead okay. took that because he wanted a generic one, and so he stripped off all the nautical theming and made it into a proper frog hopper and then i took that one for luna wood and recolored it to make it look more old and weathered yeah oh, i love so. it it's so good boom <laughs> rubber boom. stamp it because it's done it's done right 
And then just this whole area, I mentioned this last time we were recording, but the whole area feels like it's, you know, like we've been noting the whole time, it's dated, obviously. And it feels like it's like one or two years away from having a major just overhaul oh, of yeah. the whole thing. Totally. Kind of thing. Yeah. Totally, especially the blocks. <laughs> I, I like. I don't know whether I like them or or whether it's like, uh, okay, guys, it's time to right. Remodel. Let's go ahead and update this now. <laughs> but that's but that's dude, the way it's I supposed to be. It's, it's got so much. It's got so much character, and I love how the blocks are lights. Yeah, the blocks actually have a. Little, there's a lamp set inside of them to glow, and then they're the um, glowing signs. So. Right. The, right. I the, think we've seen uh, the clown enough. The clown looks nice at night too. What do you think? <laughs> Come on, man! Stop it. So so glossy. And in case you're wondering, Toyland is sponsored by Gulpy. Just in case you're wondering, of course it is, because the park is sponsored by <laughs> Gulpy at this point. <laughs> and I know I mentioned it before, but God, I love the uh, the lighting on Pioneer as you're in this area looking at the lift and everything. It's just. Yeah, so overbearing, but the lighting on it is so good. Yeah, lo- oh, that that's right there. That's the stuff. Yeah, yeah. The my favorite view is over here, though the the boomerang, the batwing, batwing. Yeah, and that's this is great because I when I when we built this, I wanted to um, I modeled it after uh, Vortex at Kings Kings Island. Yeah, Kings Island Island. Mm-hmm. And they have really great path interaction with the uh, Batwing there. And I wanted to do something with it, but putting the kitty area right here is is still the same thing. You get really great path interaction or kind of area to coaster interaction. Yeah. So it's I love it. Cool. I love it. And here it comes. Here it comes. It's coming around. There it is. Oh. Never was going, ow, my back. Oh, <laughs> we God. actually might have to tone down those brakes a little bit. I was going to say. Like it goes through there yeah, a kinda. little All on right. the fast side. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> so, man, but I'm uh, I'm in my own file. Open it up, and I'm looking at the park and the kitty area from above. <laughs> it's it's so bright compared to everywhere else. <laughs> well, it it's should definitely be. the brightest. Yeah, no, exactly. It's like it's just this shining beacon. I'm like the shining oh, beacon of horror and fear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a shining beacon of horror. I love that. It's, well, they have to keep the. Pet- Are there any uh, more sewer grates with eyes? No, they ha- <laughs> no. They have to keep the pedophiles away, so they have to make <laughs> it really bright. <laughs> yeah, right. We see you. <laughs> We know what you're doing. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, so, man, well, you want to turn the lights on and uh, exit out of Tejid Cam and kind of sure. show off what we. Uh, yeah, we're everything at. from Bird's Eye. Okay, and I was just going to show you the um, the back of the oh, yeah, Toyland. Goodbye oh. on your way out. Oh, I so didn't Barth Arches yeah, awesome. say goodbye. Forever. Yeah. Like, weird. <laughs> One more time, and it's night, night forever. Yeah. Once you walk in and you look back, and <laughs> you, there's no going back. You just, it just seals up. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty scary <laughs> i think we mentioned this a little bit before but currently hp has the park and he is doing a complete overhaul of the entrance plaza and parking lot um it's about half whole, done so yeah and the stuff you've been sending it looks really nice looks really good and we're and we're saving ourselves like potentially a couple thousand pieces because yeah. we're using the uh what the concrete texture right so oh yeah, yeah it's not all yeah so that's looking great, but um, but yeah, no. As uh, fish is kind of zooming out here, you can kind of see that uh, the American Adventure. You know, we got this done. We kind of need to finish up very little areas. We're gonna be yeah, American. I mean, it, it feels like I don't know realistically how long ago it was. It's probably six months to maybe a year that we were just starting on the American Adventure, and we we're like, yes, yeah. And now now the American Adventure is almost done. Yeah, and that's really, again, for those of you that, you know, if you haven't caught up, be sure to catch up with the Park Lore um, episode. Um, I'll link that here. But, you know, in that lore, the American Adventure is the bulk of the park. Everything else after this is going to be maybe not the best well-thought-out additions, but they will be future additions to the park. But this main part right here, this was the bulk of what we needed to get done. So it's nice to get it done or get close to. (laughs) Yeah. That's a great shot. I'm sure you've been showing it the whole time. That's great to see how it butts up against um, Pioneer like that, and it fits in that area pretty perfectly. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's like a great use of space too. <laughs> yep, especially cramming in that uh, the dine-in across the the bridge like that. That I didn't think he, I I would have put a tree there. You know, <laughs> I, I would have just covered it in foliage. <laughs> so that's awesome use of space Thank there. But oh, and one but, one um, thing you I don't know if anybody noticed this maybe, but the 
the walls are actually two-toned, so I used the stripes on one side, but they are go-away green on the back side. Oh, nice. That's so good. And nice. then another thing I Any guesses how I did that? The, uh, Jews I actually used two walls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so smart. I played this game before. <laughs> but I also love the, uh, the overgrowth that you have SMRT. going on. Like, What's you that? Just... <laughs> That's MRT. That's from, it. That's from The Simpsons. Okay. <laughs> you are dumb. D U M M. So, um, but yeah, I think that was it, though, right? We didn't miss it because it's. Well, like you want to go uh, do an overhead of the boardwalk? Sure. Or, yeah, just uh, yeah, the whole uh, the boardwalk and then the whole uh, the whole park there. Oh, guess what it's doing? It's doing an auto save finally. All right, everyone, we'll be back in like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we are over in the boardwalk section of the park here. So now you can kind of see how uh, you kind of tied everything up together. Yeah, so first of all, you can kind of see that um, I think HPK had the backstage area. It kind of stopped over here somewhere, and I just kind of extended this little piece back up to the path and uh, kind of connects to the locker area there. Yep, feels more natural. Way more natural, yeah. And then this is that um, gift shop, <laughs> gift shop and food building there. I'm just watching the guests yeah. in the backstage doing the line dance. Yeah, That's we awesome. have a we have an issue with the guests. That aren't, we'll get that figured out. Aren't supposed to be backstage, yes. <laughs> but but you can see that this is the backstage okay. area here. So, and then I have the um, the gate where it connects on up to the parking lot that we're still working on. Perfect. So there's all that. Yeah. Um, the tilt whirl. And that's pretty much it. That's what I. You guys don't mind that empty area. I'm working on that too. Yeah, we're. I don't know. We're not sure what's gonna go there yet. We're, we're thinking about it. <laughs> Something. Something. There will be a sizable investment. In Maybe we'll put a, a fountain soon. there or something. On. <laughs> yeah, probably a fountain with a bathroom. Yeah. Fountain with oh, a bathroom. Probably. When all else fails. Sponsored by. Fountain sponsored with a by Gulpy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go and drink our stuff and then pee it out here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, cool. Well, yeah, if you just want to do like a back out or, you know, overhead aerial view of the park. Oh. Uh, so everyone kind of see how far we're at. Okay. And there it is. Just a little bit further. A little bit. A little bit further back. A <laughs> little bit. Little I don't want to show off the secret places. <laughs> it's okay. It's Boom, all right. right there. So there you go. It looks so full and kind of filled out a bit. Yeah. We're almost there, guys. Uh, American Adventure is almost done. Yep. So, but yeah, in the next episode, I think uh, HP, you said uh, you keep pounding at the uh, the parking lot and all that, the entrance plaza. But I think your main focus is this. Uh, I can talk. This giant green area. Right. Yeah. So right that's here. what you're kind of focusing on, right? It's a blank canvas. A blank well, it's canvas. really not yep. blank. I mean, <laughs> you have you have material to work with. There's there's been pictures of stuff that's been there as going back. I mean, I think as far Almost back as probably maybe a year or two at this point, where we had teased a ride there, but it was we just never got around to working on it. So, yep. So that'll uh, that'll be revealed in the uh, next episode of Lunawood there. So. Um, but yeah, so the next one will be, we're going to show off some stuff that Mate did. Even <coughs> HP has the park now. Mate was building in it for a little bit. He had some issues in it, kind of like Estan did. So, uh, Mate is just, uh, building in an empty map and then sending us blueprints of, uh, stuff that he's doing and we're going to put it in. So next episode, we'll probably show off, um, a lot of his buildings and he's done some fantastic work. Oh he's yeah. Amazing building. If, if you guys, um, if you guys aren't following his work in Lake Liberty, you guys should be. Yeah, he, definitely. He's and his, his new park too, his new uh, French park. French is park, amazing. yeah, um, yeah. I've been following that on the Bro Nation Discord. There, yeah, dude's out of his mind. So he's. It's funny because we we limit him. We're we're bad because we limit him on what he can do because he likes to do you know custom roofs and walls as or uh, windows as walls and all that amazing stuff. And we're like, yeah, that's really cool, but don't because. <laughs> <laughs> Peace count. Yeah, but um, I mean, we're already. I think we're already over a hundred thousand. So. Oh yeah, we're almost in uh, lack of a better word, f it mode at this point. Like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, we'll show off mate stuff next time. Um, he's gonna finish up his little board or uh, not boardwalk. Um, the uh, the wharf area. Uh, 
war thank you the wharf yeah. area and then uh, after that we will show off hpk stuff um so yeah we definitely have a lot of uh, stuff coming up lined up for uh, videos coming out and uh, like we said right after that we're probably gonna be uh doing another wrap-up episode where we're gonna kind of do a lore kind of thing looking over the park with just hpk and myself and then we'll expand out to other areas of the park so a lot of fun stuff coming up for luna a lot Wood. We of fun planned, stuff uh, coming up we got big plans there, so uh, yeah, definitely stay tuned. If you're not already, uh, you know, be sure to hit the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel here, so you can stay up to date with all the updates on uh, Luna Wood and all the other fun stuff there. But uh, yeah. real, real quick, before we get out of there, before we get out of here, this is episode 19. We have caught up to Jubilee Gardens. What are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> right? Come on, y'all. <laughs> what are you, Ruble and and Commando Santa? What are you guys doing? Where, where, where it's you like guys they're at? busy with life or I something. I hear crickets. <laughs> crickets indeed. Crickets indeed, sirs. And speaking of that, I've also seen that Mast and them have been uh, in No Name Landy a bit. Can we just wrap it up, guys? Come on. What are you waiting for? Let's do it. Put a stamp on it. Put a bow on it. It's done. <laughs> so, all right. That's enough jabbing at other uh, yeah. parks now. <laughs> no, no. We're big fans of all those guys. Right. I mean, Have without without those jabs. guys, without those parks, this park wouldn't exist. This series. Yeah, we literally exist, said so. that last uh, last time. We literally said that if there was no na no no name Landia, we would never have even started this whole series. So, yeah. um, this is an but, homage yeah, so. to those guys. So, but yeah, there you go, everybody. Again, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Throw the video a like. It does help out immensely there. Share it even if you uh, are feeling so kind. You kind of like to listen to us jab on here for a little bit. Go ahead and share it with your friends there. But uh, yeah, until the next episode of Luna Wood, I've been Beyond Drew TV. I'm HBK. And I'm Fisherman. Have a good one, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.